specifically asked a question and I didn't even mention her name. Mm -hmm. And so it was for clarification and that's what I asked for. And he obviously didn't hear me. Okay. The feud between Majera Terra Green as well as Jasmine Crockett is still going on. This time around, Jasmine has put out uh, a, a merch called Club Back. And Majera Terra Green, she is also clapping back. This, I personally don't like it, but it's, this is just too much drama. All right, so what has transpired this time around? Well, Majora Terra Green uh, has put out a video, so I'm going to share it with you. But for now, let's uh, take a look at to the defense that Jasmine is putting out. All this started because somebody called someone else's about their eyelashes and another one about them. Uh, their body. So, uh, Representative Jasmine Crockett files to trademark bleach blonde bad belt batch body after crash with Marjorie Terra Green. Crockett filed a trademark to use the phrase on apparel after making the remark during an exchange with Green at House Oversight Committee, Committee meeting. Representative Jasmine Crockett wants official ownership of the Vilo uh, Bleach Brown Bad Belt, Batch Body. I'm telling you, I can't, I don't like repeating these things. Anyway, the phrase she used during a crash with Representative Marjorie Terra Green in a congressional committee meeting. Crockett, a Democrat from Texas, filed a trademark application for the phrase with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office on Sunday, May 19th. She plans to use it for a power like hats, hoodies, socks, pants, t-shirt tops, pay the filing. The owner's name is Jasmine for US, which is a branding for her website and professional Instagram and Twitter accounts. Green responded to the application, telling Fox News Digital on Monday, May 20th. And I quote, I'm very happy with myself. I turned 50 on Monday and I'm so excited that I'm still alive and healthy and have done so much in life. And I think no matter what what shape, size, or, we, or how we look, we need to be ourselves, not telling women the only way to be attractive or accepted is to have fake boobs, fake hair, fake lashes, and injected faces. Green, a Republican from Georgia, told Fox News Digital. I mean, well, I mean, we all wear makeup and do lashes and stuff sometimes, but it's out of control. We may need a better message for women. So uh, this, uh, this is... Uh, Jasmine uh, Crockett herself. So now, uh, Representative Green has also, uh, she, she's also clapping back. And this is what she has decided to put out uh, herself, okay? So I won't be able to play the, the music because you know how it is, but we can just watch. So this is, uh, this is Marjorie Taylor Green putting out her video where she showed off that she does work out, that she does lift weights. And this is in the response that she has given to uh, Miss Crockett, Miss Jasmine Crockett. So she is clapping back. Wow, man. Wow, she is fit. <laughs> Tara Green has responded to Representative Jasmine Crockett after their House Oversight Committee showdown on Thursday spawned an avalanche of memes and even merchandise. The far-right firebrand shared a video of herself pumping iron in a garage, defending her physique after the Texas Democrats now vital breach brown bad belt batch body comment in a committee hearing. And I quote, Yes, my body is built and strong, not with nib stacks, plastic or silicon, but through a healthy lifestyle, soon turning 50 years old. God willing, I will continue to lift, run, swim, play sports, surf, ski, climb, and live this life to the fullest and enjoy every single moment the Georgia Congresswoman wrought. If her words were taken down, that meant that she was going to have to leave the committee for the evening, which actually would have helped everybody out because the source of the chaos is always Marjorie Taylor Greene. But the, the chairman was concerned about his votes. He was concerned about whether or not he would be able to move forward with contempt. And so therefore... It's contempt of the... Yeah, they were the... Of Mary Garland. Yeah, for the Attorney General Garland. Absolutely. Yeah. So therefore, I'm like, well, what are we doing? So what are the parameters? And I generally wanted to know. So I did not state anything to her. 
I specifically asked a question and I didn't even mention her name. Mm-hmm. And so it was for clarification. And that's what I asked for. And he obviously didn't hear me. OK, yeah. And I hear that. But <laughs> she went after your appearance and then yeah. like you went out like you went back at her a thousand fold. I, I, I did as a, in a very lawyerly way. But I do did. you obviously she started it. I'm not disputing that. But yeah. do you regret that at all? I, I mean, don't. You don't. I don't. Because here's the thing. I signed up to be a member of Congress. That didn't mean that I was supposed to walk into a position where I'm going to walk in and be disrespected. It's already a hostile work environment being there. And we do have rules. The problem with MAGA is that MAGA does not respect rules, nor do they respect the law. That is exactly why they're all running up to Trump's trial, because he's in trouble, not because of some big conspiracy by the Biden administration. He's in trouble because he fails to respect the law. The reason that the Supreme Court right now is debating whether or not. Cries like a baby when she don't get her way. Yeah, she can dish it out, but she sure can't take it her whole damn life. She just fa- okay, so let's take a look at the trademark that she has filed. So this is a trademark status of document retrieval. Mark, bleach, blonde, bad, belt, butch body. So I guess this is the B6 because the 6B is the 6B brand. So application filed May 19th. Um, application is awaiting examination. So I do think this is very, very unprofessional for both of these ladies. So for now, what's happening is Marjorie Taylor Green and Jasmine Crockett, they are going at it with each other. And yes, man, you know, uh, I mean, that was a surprising, the workout that uh, Marjorie Taylor Green puts out there, right? So she even said herself that she also just, she does wear lashes, but she thinks it's a bad, things are going too far. Well, if that is the case, mentioning that on the house floor, it was not appropriate. She shouldn't have done that. And what Jasmine is also doing right now, doubling down and everything, is even making things worse. Able to move forward with contempt. And so therefore... It's contempt of the... Yeah, they were the... Of Mary contempt, Garland. Yeah, for the Attorney General Garland. Absolutely. Yeah. So therefore, I'm like, well, what are we doing? So what are the parameters? And I generally wanted to know. So I did not state anything to her. I specifically asked a question and I didn't even mention her name. Mm-hmm. And so it was for clarification and that's what I asked for. And he obviously didn't hear me. Okay, yeah, and I hear that. But <laughs> she went after your appearance and then yeah. like you went out, like you went back at her a thousand fold. I, I, I did, as a, in a very lawyerly way. But I do did. you... Yeah, so she has also admitted right here that she's, you know, also clapping back. So both of them are not backing down. They are all doing the same thing. Okay, they are all doing the same thing. So we'll see. Uh, none of them, both of them are doing wrong things because uh, nobody is backing down. But the other thing also, I think Marjorie Taylor Green. I don't know if she's getting any support from her, her, her fellow uh, co-workers. I suspect because she's the one who brought out on the House floor to um, the vote to vacate the Speaker of the House. So even the people in her own ranks did not like that. So that wasn't wise on her part to have done that. Especially, you know, you bring something uh, down on the house floor, you know nobody is going to win the vote. So it looked like you, you're you just creating attention. You want to be the drama queen. Now she has this. So as you know, <laughs> all the Twitter people have uh, descending upon her. So it's just drama upon drama. It just reminded me, like, one thing, uh, Nancy Pelosi, as crazy as she is, even her enemies do respect her. She never brought on the floor a bill that wasn't going to pass, whether it was a good bill or it was a bad bill. Every, by the time she was bringing something to a vote, she had already counted her votes, so she knew she was going she was gonna, <laughs> she was, she was to get it done. So I'm like, okay, Marjorie, why would you go on the house for knowing that you don't have the votes? So when people do those things, it looks like they're just drawing attention to themselves instead of being busy about the business of the people because it's why they are working in Congress. And Jasmine, she says she's, she's working in a hostile environment. Well, if you're working in a hostile environment, people voted you there, you can resign. You can stop working over there. There's so many people who'd love to work there. So, you know, these women should just what? Go home. Stop the drama and just go home. But what you guys think about this whole debacle, I'm interested to know. 
All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Ne Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.